This is Ultimate Pools. A wall of boulders perfect for plunging. A slide snaking past fire pits down a hillside. And a hot tub built for tons of partygoers. Make this pool the place to be. Most people when they walk in, they can't believe that that's the pool. High in the hills of Southern California's wine country, the large tropical theme pool was built with parties in mind. We love being able to entertain here and have our friends and family over. How does a dusty hillside become a tropical oasis? First, plant some trees, big trees. The biggest focus that we had on this project was to really keep it natural looking. We incorporated some of these very large palm trees before we started digging the pool. So that way, the pool kind of got built around some large trees to make it feel more natural right away instead of having to wait 15 years for the trees to grow. Next, Jeff integrated the hillside into the pool's design. Steps lead to hidden seating areas flanked by fire bowls and ultimately to a slide that shoots revelers through the trees into the 12-foot deep pool. It's really fun to have a hill to work in because you can just go kind of crazy with your imagination and that's what we tried to do with a lot of lush trees and plants around it to create a really cool feel as you walk up the hill. Well, the bigger slide's fun. It's just always a blast to go down it with the kids. I like the little slide. It's safer and <laughs> <laughs> it's more my speed. It doesn't go very fast, so yeah. So I like the little slide in the spa. A large spa that accommodates a dozen people sits on the far edge of the pool, where the view of the hillside and mountains beyond make it a popular party spot. Hey guys, having fun? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Scenic seating areas and a swim up bar complete the social scene. We love the swim up bar. Thank you. Thank you. Our next backyard pool has the look and feel of a magical island and it was designed for total entertainment. It kind of gives you a little bit of a, a tropical feeling that you're uh, almost on vacation. It's a delight. We wanted to have a pool that everybody can enjoy. We wanted to have uh, waterfalls, slides, a cave, a hot tub. So we added a lot of features that the whole family and all our friends could be in at the same time. Building such an awe-inspiring pool required the creative mind of designer Joe DiPaolo. After 900 projects, most of my clients give me free reign. I came to the property when there was nothing here. Joe's design process started with how to blend the new pool into the existing landscape. He brought in real rocks to build a hill and installed large plants from his own nursery. I like to create a frame where the pool and its plantings go beyond the fence, up into the trees, and they make an illusion that you're in somewhere that you can't describe. Joe built the hill of rock and trees large enough to complement the scale of the pool below. It's a pool with a spa entry, bridge across, and it has water arches. Set eight feet above the water, the arches, like the rest of the rock around the pool, are made from natural stone. Stone benches built into the pool, around the fire pit, and along the patio wall are perfect for socializing. But one family member rarely sits still. We have a miniature schnauzer. It's joyful to watch her. She goes out there and swims and goes down the slide and jumps off the waterfall. Since adults, children, and dogs would be using the pool, Joe guaranteed a relaxing spa experience by placing it away from the high splash areas, namely the slide and the eight-foot high bridges. as it was getting closer to being finished. And we had a regular influx of kids from the neighborhood that wanted to go down the slide. 
Everybody was uh, interested to see how the new pool was. From that day on until now, there's always a party to be had. We're heading high into the hills of Southern California, where it's pretty hard to find waterfront property. So this family built their own river. We'd been in a few different vacations and saw lazy rivers. And it was that concept of the river itself that you don't see a whole lot in somebody's personal backyard and thought, you know, why not? My first response was, that's absolutely crazy. There's no way. And <laughs> he's a dreamer, and I'm more of a realist. Jeremy's river of dreams is now a reality right in his own backyard. Shallow and narrow, a lazy river uses a forced current to propel users around at a relaxing speed. I'm going to go around the river now. Enjoy yourself. I love having a nice cold drink and being in a, a floaty or a raft of some kind and going around the river and just going around and around and around. I've taken many naps out there that way. Lazy rivers are popular at resorts and water parks, but there's a reason not many backyards have them. We had uh, 16 pool vendors come out and bid it for us, and about half of them said they couldn't do it. But pool designer Jeff Boyer could. It was just the logistics of figuring out how we wanted to make sure everything went step by step the right way, because there's a lot of plumbing that goes in this pool and the right size plumbing, the right pumps to make sure the water moves around like it should, so it's a river. And then we also wanted to put these large palm trees in here before we started so that when the pool was done, he had a great feeling of grown in mature plants. Look at the turtle! Yay! Turtle, turtle, turtle! Our next plunge packs a big punch with a surprise hidden feature tucked away in this cozy cove. I wanted something that felt natural. It didn't just feel like I cut a hole in the ground and filled it with water. Having curves, no real squares, I wanted something that felt like everything was built around it, it existed. Dave knew he wanted a unique pool that would have everyone talking, so he used his limited backyard space wisely. He built up instead of out. And I still have almost 25 by 15 feet worth of pool, which in this neighborhood is really big. It doesn't seem overbearing. To bring his vision to life, Dave turned to pool designer Don Goldstone. In this case, we started with a design of a naturalistic style pool. We have planter pockets to allow for planting to grow in vines. Plants create a grotto-like atmosphere and cut out noise from the neighbors. All right, guys. You guys are the first to see it. Oh, oh my, my wow. gosh. Wow. If you guys want to hang out tonight after we go swimming, we've got. Whoa. Yeah. Shut <laughs> up. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. 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 Good stuff. Amazing. Nice done. The reason I guess I wanted an ultimate pool is because I wanted something in the backyard that was comfortable, I could jump in any time, and I could watch movies in. So we came up with the idea of putting a movie screen in the middle of an eight-foot waterfall. We had to determine how to hold up a structure, how to mount a movie screen in it, how to have it retract and open while still having 20,000 gallons right under it. The space to work with may have been small, but the pool is plenty big. It's nearly 50 feet long at one point and built for maximum splash. I definitely wanted a pool that was deeper than normal. I ended up putting a seven foot pool. I wanted a waterfall. I wanted natural lines. I wanted different places to be, to be able to jump off of. I wanted great little nooks where if someone's in there with a drink, they can just set it down, a bench behind the waterfall. Adding to the character of this pool, Dave can control all of its amazing features right from his smartphone. And at night, custom lighting shows off the luxurious glass bead finish. Lights have to be synchronized. They're different colors. They all have to coordinate. Hidden paradise by day, movie theater by night. Dave has the ultimate party pool.